Hello and welcome back to Bee Monster Laboratory. I have received an item today that is familiar to many of you. It is the Elegoo Mega 2560 Project Kit. I purchased this on Amazon. It is currently at $49.99, down from $60. I paid $47 for it, so maybe you can still find it for that price. It says on the back, if this seal is damaged, do not sign for it and return it. The seal has not been damaged. However, on the front, it looks like Edward Scissorhands may have packed my package. But I'm sure that Edward Scissorhands took good care in packing it. I'm not really worried about it. But check that out. <laughs> There's a big gash right down the, the middle of it. But anyway, so I'm going to open this up, see what I've got. And uh, I'll be posting... Uh, projects from this kit. I think it'll be interesting. I think it'll be fun. Uh, many of you know that uh, I am new to this type of stuff. If you uh, didn't know that, just check out my uh, DIY Christmas tree um, soldering kit fiasco. That was quite interesting. But anyway, let's let's open this up and see what's in there. All right, so I got my brand new package here, and. Uh, I'm going to open this. See what see what we got here. I've been uh, looking at this for a while now, and uh, when I saw that it was reduced in price, I thought it'd be a great time to buy it. Looks like I've got it upside down. There we go. Got a nice snap case for it. Oh, they have the uh, parts list up here. Well, that's handy. And it looks like it comes with a um, tutorial, so that will definitely be handy. And a thank you card. Really good. So some of the first pieces I see right here are the remote control. It comes with some of these parts I don't even know what they are, so I will learn though. Uh, and here we have the LED display. That'll be fun. You know, I expect it all to be entertaining, fun, and, and educational. Uh, here it looks like you have the servo motor. I got a 9 volt battery. Here we got a uh, like an analog control stick, just like you'd find in an Xbox controller. In fact, I took a couple of controllers apart to harvest the motors out of them. I guess uh, here we have it's the ultrasonic sensor. I've seen some projects using this. It's pretty neat. Maybe I'll put this stuff up here. Um, here you just have some uh, some cables, some jumpers. Some uh, male to female cables. And uh, stepper motor. Cool. So, yeah. And a 9 volt battery attachment. I have no idea what some of these items are, but uh, 
pull in real quick. I don't know what this is. This is the um, the, sen the um, motion sensor. This will be fun to use. Yeah, <clears throat> the motion sensor there. And here we have a one-digit um, display. And this is the five volt relay. And here we have the four digit display. And over here we have what looks to be a rotary encoder module. This looks like the infrared module. Looks like here we have the GUI 521 module, which, uh, from what I've read, has a gyroscope, um, accelerometer, digital motion processor, and a temperature sensor. So, sounds very technical. This item, let's reveal it here. This item looks to be a stepper uh, motor driver board, which goes between the microcontroller and your stepper motor. So, that's what that one is. This item is the temperature and humidity module. This item here looks like the water level detection sensor. And this here is the microcontroller. The Omega 2560 microcontroller. I know that these are the digital inputs and outputs. And then you got your serial connections, your uh, PWM outputs, and your power pins, and your analog inputs and then your reset button right there then you got the USB connector and the uh, the um, 12 volt power source right here or for your plug and we got the all-important fan got quite a few resistors I won't open those here is the RFID module. So you got your RFID uh, board or whatever, and then your RFID key fob, which kind of like if you work somewhere, you'd scan to get in. And then here we have the membrane switch module. Here we have the uh, the 830-point solderless breadboard that it came with. Got the AC adapter.
Over here we have some LEDs, some diodes. I see some transistors. Looks like the buzzers are in here as well. Yeah, I got buzzers. This is an active buzzer, that's the passive buzzer. Got your capacitors, ceramic capacitors. You got some uh, push button components. And you got your, uh, looks like a 16 pin integrated circuit. Got two of those. I'll put that back. Here we have a. This is the prototype expansion board. I'll open that up. Like I said, I'm not too familiar with a lot of this stuff, but uh, I will be very soon. Here we have uh, a 3 volt DC motor. I have tons of these. It'll go with the fan, probably, I imagine. Over here we have the power supply module. like a USB port. Plug your power in there. And here we have an, this is the 8x8 eight eight, uh, LED ma matrix. This will be a lot of fun. I think. Yeah, that'll be neat. I like stuff like that. And here we have the sound sensor module. You can detect sound. And last but not least, we have the the DS1307 module. It's a real-time clock module. I'm not sure how I will use it. I'm sure we keep time, but um, yeah, there it is. I believe that is everything. I believe that's everything in here. So I will now attempt to put all this stuff back. Well, I think I've got everything back in the box. Um, I'm probably gonna get more storage for this because this drives me crazy to have just stuff packed away in here. But that's the type of person I am. I think I mentioned everything on here. I don't see anything that I missed except for maybe a potentiometer. I didn't mention that, but yeah, it is in the, the bag there. Um, so, yeah, I'll have to get some storage for this. I don't know how this is going to fly right here. I don't want to damage this stuff, at least not yet. Quite a test of geometry. Well, that about does it for the Elegoo Mega 2560 project kit. Some of the pieces I was familiar with, as I've seen other projects using those pieces, but some of the pieces I had no idea, so I had to look them up. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, and I hope you did, don't forget to click the thumbs up 
Don't forget to click follow and bell notification if you want to know when new videos are posted. We'll see you next time.